Okay, I'm going to show you how to make the Lego Benny costume. Uh, first, uh, what we're going to do is we are going to make the helmet. Now, I was lucky enough to get this styrofoam um, in a dumpster. I wish I would have grabbed a bunch more, but at the time I had no idea I was going to be making costumes. So, I didn't get that much. But, what I did is half, half of it's already done. I found this styrofoam half ball over at Michael's. And it was about 12 bucks, so I bought it. It's a little big, about 12 inches um, in diameter, but that's okay. Um, the way I'm gonna build this is where you can have the face, like the Benny Lego face that's yellow with the eyes and the smiley face, or you can actually re re remove that piece and it could be your own face. And how we're gonna build it is uh, the little um, part that goes around here. Where's that? The, I forget what it's called, but anyway, um, the guard or whatever that goes around with the helmet. Um, we're going to build that and have a little split in it and everything, so it'll be pretty cool. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to, what we want to do is we want to build this out more to make the helmet bigger. Um, so I'm just going to put it down like this, grab a sharpie, face around. And I'm not going to worry about marking it up because that'll get covered up with paint. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little carver and I'm just going to cut it out. If you have a, um, what, a heat rod or something, styrofoam heat rod, that'll work. Now you can buy rings that are, or discs that are already made like this. Um, but they're like six bucks or something, and I had the I had the styrofoam, so all it is now is just using your time. Um, so, as you can see, it's a pretty good match. Um, it's a little rough, but it's okay because we'll sand it, and make it so it's smooth, and we'll apply um, some other material over it and make it all nice and smooth. That's one. Now you're gonna make a bunch of these. What we're going to essentially do is make these a ring um, so the head can fit in there, your head can fit in there. And if you can find a ring that's already made, then that's fantastic to use that. It's totally up to you how, how you build this down. Um, I really like using this half dome um, shape because it's half the work's already done for you and it's already nice and smooth up here. Um, if you get the pre-made discs that are like this, it's going to be smooth, totally smooth on the outside. And then all you got to do is cut out the middle. Um, to whatever, whatever shape you want. It doesn't necessarily um, have to be a circle. I'm going to do that because um, you want at least the front right here down to be the same width, what's going to show. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and do that. So what I'm going to do is the middle of this is almost an inch. I'm just going to cut out an inch that will give me some uh, some room to play with, and so I'm going to cut out a whole middle, and it'll be the wall will be an inch thick. So we essentially want a 10, 10 inch diameter of our ring on the inner ring. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make myself a template as a out of paper, a round circle that's 10 inches, and then I'll use that as my stencil. So just a little trick, uh, what I did is I took two pieces of paper. Um, in Photoshop, I made a, a circle that was 10 inches. I made a canvas um, 10 inches, and then by 10 inches, and then I did a, a circle that was perfectly matched to that. And then I just printed out two copies, since my paper is only 8.5 by 11. Um, I printed out two copies, and when you put them together, you can make yourself a perfect circle. And that's what I'm going to use as my stencil for the inside. See? Made a circle. Now I just want to tape it. So you might think this is a lot of trouble, but yeah, it is. So if you want to make a costume um, from scratch and something that's custom like this, it can take some time. If there's other ways, like I said, if you have other ways of getting a disc that you want to use as the base part for that, uh, go ahead. It doesn't have to be probably styrofoam, and it doesn't even have to match that color because you're going to make everything the same color. So. Then what I'm going to do is come in here, 
And as you can see, you got a stencil. And we want to cut this out after we make our little shape. There. And then we just cut it out. You gotta be careful though, because now the walls are gonna be really thin. So you wanna be careful with this part. So, and what I would do is I would cut on the inside of the ring, just to get a little bit of extra thickness. If you have a better way of doing this, by all means, rock it. Just keep going around it until you can get it to pop out. And be careful again. And look, there we go. We got a ring. And then you just take the helmet top, and there you go. It fits right on top of there. And so you can see that's the beginning of the, the beginning of the wall. Okay, so I have uh, six rings cut out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start gluing them one by one to the bottom here. I got this styro glue stuff. I got it at Michael's. It's right next to the styrofoam. Thought I'd give it a shot. Honestly, it looks like Elmore's glue. It smells like Elmore's glue. It probably is, and they just slapped it on and made it more expensive. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to use this. Um, I put these little marks on here. Um, I wanted to gauge how wide I want to have the open face, and I'm going to do these inner marks. So I'm going to glue all the way around, but not in this middle section, because then once I layer these up, I'm going to cut them one at a time until I can judge my distance on how far I want this to come down, to build it down, and then so I can tell exactly where I want my chin piece to go. Make sure all the little stragglers are off it so it can lay flat down. And then we'll put it on there like that. Make it so it's pretty flush. So I'm going to apply a little pressure, make sure the glue is good. Okay, next one. Okay, so what I did is I glued four pieces on. And that's all I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna let it completely dry. Okay, this has been uh, drying for a little while now, a couple hours. Probably need to wait uh, overnight, but I'm kind of impatient. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start shaping the sides here and get that more flush and smooth. I'm gonna start off with this little shaping tool. I came in a little a kit along with this knife and then I'm going to use this first and I'm going to go to a sand block. And as you can see it's working really nice. I don't know if you can see that but it's really taking shape. Awesome. Everything is awesome when you're working with styrofoam. That's for sure. Okay. Now, I'm going to start smoothing out even more with a sand block. And I'm just going to start going like this. I'm going to cut out the face. I'm going to cut it a little thin in between here. Um, because I want to leave room to, if you look at Benny's helmet, yeah, it's rounded on the inside. So it looks more like a helmet, it's not like sharp edges. So I want to cut in a little bit um, skinnier here, and that way I can round it out and to about the distance that I want. And as you can see, it's the beginning of the helmet. See right now, if it sits all the way on top of my head here, and I'll probably make it a little wider even. Because you know Benny's, Benny's comes out pretty far. And I might be trying to get too precise with this. It probably doesn't matter too much. Um, but for the look that I want, you know, it's coming, it's getting pretty close. So this is going to get rounded. Two. 
to something like that. You can see the line here. Whoosh, curves around, rounds it out a little bit. We go from there. Okay, for this space part, I actually made it a little more curved in here, so there's no kind of sharp edge. Want to curve in? I'm gonna use this uh, serrated Cutco knife. It's really sharp. It'll be a lot easier than this uh, quick tool, and uh, it should make the cuts fairly uh, smooth as well. And there you go. You got a nice little rounded part. Okay, so I'm just going to take this piece of uh, 60 grit, grit uh, sandpaper and kind of roll it up, put it in my fingers like this, and just start sanding. So I shaped it and it looks really nice. Um, I like the curves. So quite happy. You can totally see the, the shape of it coming together. That looks really cool. If you're making this for a kid, you can get a smaller top and just make it smaller to their head. Um, probably the 8 inch, well probably the, the 10 inch one, which would give you about 8 inches of diameter in the middle and still gives you room. Um, this is the 12 inch, remember. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attach the rest of these um, and we'll go from there and then I'm going to sand everything, shape it, and then it's, uh, and then it's ready to either for me, I'm going to do the joint compound. You probably don't have to. If you don't want to, you can just smooth it some more and paint it with acrylic paint, acrylic spray paint. Uh, don't use the normal uh, spray paint from Home Depot or whatever because that will eat away the styrofoam. Uh, so you need acrylic or water-based paint, either spray paint or just paint it on by hand. Okay, so I shaped it a little bit more. I rounded the edges just a little bit. Um, I'm going to glue on these next pieces for the... Uh, a little chin, uh, chin piece. Be nice and liberal with this styrofoam glue. Just like we did with the other pieces. Apply a little pressure. I'm just barely putting my weight on it. I'm not really smashing it down. I'm just, I'm barely putting my weight on it, so. But you can really see the helmet come into shape now, and so, you know, practically shape-wise, it's there. I just need to wait for this to dry. All right, so the uh, the bottom pieces are dry. I'm just going to um, sand it. I've sanded a little bit already around the edges to make it nice and flush. Um, I'll probably do just a little bit more here. Um, maybe with this finer sandpaper. And now what I want to do is I want to continue my curve line and just take a little bit out of this and get a nice little curve going. So about something like this. Right like that. And then I'll cut it out and then I'll finish uh, sanding a little bit. I'll just uh, kind of sand down the edges, the hard edges. Um, and maybe do that on the bottom as well and uh, then we'll be ready uh, to do whatever we want to do next. There you go. Okay, so I am ready for the next step. Like I said, you don't have to do this step. Uh, you don't have to put the joint compound on it. I'm going to because it'll smooth, it'll fill in all the rough uh, gaps and I'll be able to sand it all and make it really nice and smooth. But you don't have to if you don't want to. You could just take this exactly like this, cut your little slit right there, and paint it with acrylic paint, and be done. Um, but this is a, the step that I want to do, so let's get going. Um, got your joint, joint compound, pretty cheap, it's like six bucks at Home Depot. And you're just gonna get a little bit to start. Just a little bit. We'll start by putting it on. The idea is to hide all the edges. All right, so I have it all coated around the joint compound. Um, I'm gonna let this dry about 24 hours. Spaceship, you wanna build a spaceship? Okay, so once your uh, helmet is dry, what we're gonna do is we're going to 
sand all this down so it's nice and smooth. So I'm gonna wear a little mouthpiece here and glasses and then you just start sanding. Okay, once you have sanded your helmet to your liking, um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, as you know, Benny has uh, seen a lot of battle, as it were. He's a bit smudged, um, a bit imperfect. So there's little, some little dents here and there, and I think it gives, uh, gives the helmet character. And uh, so I'm not gonna sand it anymore. I'm done sanding. Now the next step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover this and what is this stuff that's called Mod Podge. Mod Podge Matte. And what this is, it's a water-based sealer glue finish. And so this is gonna protect it uh, before we put the paint on. Um, and so I'm going to cover this whole helmet in uh, a couple layers of this. So we'll do a layer, we'll let it dry. We'll do a layer, we'll let it dry, we'll do a layer. I forgot to mention you can get this at Walmart, Michaels. You can get it online. It's pretty cheap at Walmart. Okay, that is layer one. I need to let this completely dry and then I'll come back and I'll do some more. Okay, I let this dry for about an hour. Looks great. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a, another coat here. So the reason why we're doing this again is this is gonna give it a protective coating. It's gonna help it last longer and this will allow me to paint it with a normal spray paint and that way it'll protect the foam. If I just, if I didn't do this and I sprayed it with normal spray paint, it would eat away the foam and that would not be good. You could get a styrofoam safe paint if you want and do that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the inside because I am planning on painting on the inside. Um, so I need to protect that as well. Okay, so I have one coat on the inside. I'm gonna let that dry and then I will repeat, repeat the process. All right, I am done coating the inside of this uh, helmet with the Mod Podge. And so I could paint it right now, but what I wanna do first, it's a very crucial step to making the Benny helmet. I'm a little reluctant to do it, but it is the signature look of the helmet, is I need to cut the little slit out of his uh, little guard, uh, chin guard there. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this right in the middle. I remember growing up having Legos and I actually had a blue Lego just like this Benny and it cut, it broke right there in the middle. It's really funny. Um, so that movie is very relatable to me as a kid. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cut this and then uh, I'll get a close up of this as well. Okay, I have that cut done. Now I need to make sure that I seal that styrofoam because that's fresh uh, styrofoam right there and I don't want the paint that I put on to eat it away. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. I just folded up some paper, nice and thin. I can't use my brush because it's too thick. I could make the gap a little bit wider if I wanted to, but for the look I'm going for, I wanna have just a small little, small little gap right there. And I'm just gonna take this. You see that? Like this. Okay, and I'm gonna let that coat dry. Um, since it's such a thin coat, I can let it dry probably for 20 minutes. We are ready for paint. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the spray paint, blue spray paint, and go ahead and uh, spray the helmet. I'm gonna shake up the can really well, hold, hold the spray can eight to 10 inches away, and kind of move your hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now you don't want to do too much at one time. You want to do a light coating like this. It's not going to fill everything. There's some light spots there. Let it dry for a little bit and then do another, another coat around it. Okay, I'm going to let this dry for about 10 minutes and come back and do uh, another coat. And now, now I'm going to let it dry and then I'll do my next coat.
I'm going to let this dry completely, that way I can handle it, and then paint the inside. Okay, now it's time to make the face. So I made my helmet to where I can, it's open, so I can have my own face be the face. And I made it so where I could do like a Lego face. And that's what we're going to make right now, is the Lego face insert. And so what I did is I got a, a form tube, concrete form tube from Home Depot. It was about seven, eight dollars, a 10 inch one. And I cut it down to size. I measured the inside of the helmet, the space where the visor would be to see the face. And I made it a little bit bigger so it'll fit in there. And then I cut a hole, or not a hole, but a line down here. So I could put it in here and it makes this smaller and then it will expand a little bit and it'll stick right in there. So it's pretty cool. And so I've done one already. That's what it looks like. What I did is I cut out the eyes and I put in, um, so at first it looks something like this. And then once I, uh, I'll drill holes for the eyes and then I put plastic over it and then I'll just color in the plastic with the Sharpie and then I can still see through it. Pretty cool. And the plastic that I use, I wound up buying a, as you saw, um, or I wound up buying a um, hot glue gun so I could do the body and everything. And the plastic from that was perfect that it came in. And I'm just cutting out the bits for the eyes from there. And uh, so that's where we're going to go ahead and do the other faces. Next face I'm doing is the, the screaming face. And uh, I cut it about the size here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fit it around like that. And now once I have my whole, my guides uh, drawn, I am going to uh, drill them out. And then I'm going to line this up again. I'm also going to take a sharpie, and I'm going to I'm going to go around the edges with it. And then so these hot eye holes, as you can see, um, I painted or I drew all around there with a sharpie. So I'm just going to cut out a rough shape. It doesn't have to be perfect at all out of this plastic. Just so it covers the eye hole, it's really all you need. So I got just like a rough piece, piece of plastic here. Probably can't see it, see through. And then I'm gonna glue it right on the top here. And now I'm gonna fill it in with a Sharpie. And then I'm going to put the mask, uh, the final mask piece over. I'm going to do the inside and outside of the plastic with the Sharpie. It makes it a little hard to see, but you can still see through it. And uh, it works quite nicely. Um, if you can find a piece of, a piece of black see-through plastic already that you don't have to color, perfect. Use that. I couldn't find any, so I just decided to do, do this way. Now the next step is to cut out the eyes here. And I'm going to use a uh, half dollar as my guide. It's kind of nice, it's rigid. I could uh, move my knife around it. Uh, if you have a circle cutter, great, use that. Um, that that works. That will work great. I'm just going to put it here in the middle. Definitely recommend a circle cutter if you have one. And then what you can do, see, and you can take your Sharpie and just fill in any white spots from the cut. 
Now, the tubes that you buy, these concrete tubes, they're so long that you could actually make one for each individual face, but I thought it would be kind of convenient to have them all on one. Um, kind of a clever little idea, I think. And then you can just turn them around and just have one of these instead of having three or four or however many you want. And then you're going to take your face and you're going to fit it over your eyes. Make sure it lines up fine, like it does. So you're going to fit it around and just make sure it matches up, which it should, just like that. And now we're going to hot glue it. And I got the last one on. So. There we go. We got our Benny Faces insert. The Many Faces of Benny. So, what we do, the helmet is done drying. I went and applied a clear coat to it, one clear, one, uh, clear coat, and there it is. So, you can put padding and stuff in there and just wear it like this. Awesome! Or, if you want, you grab your, your face and decide which one you want to do. I'm going to go for the classic. And you, uh, you squeeze it in like this. And you go ahead and put it in. And it will expand by itself. And there you have it. And since this is a little big, there's enough room for me to put padding and everything so my eyes line up. Right now, if I wear it as is, my head goes to the very top here, and my eyes can only see about halfway through the eye holes. Um, and there you have it. I am um, glad you've watched this, and uh, look, look for my other videos. I have the Lego body and legs and arms and hands video and the, um, the jetpack. So go ahead and watch all those as well. And uh, hope you have fun uh, making your own uh, Lego costume. Maybe you'll make a Benny one as well. Take care.